Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing around with this little beast here which um, was kindly sent to me by Terramaster ages ago. Um, I cheated and I installed server 2019 on it and uh, today I'm gonna try and install ESXi 6.7. So let's go to the table. So we have this tiny setup here and more or less this is a NAS but it just happens to have an, an Intel CPU and room for two hard drives and on the back of it, uh, it, it, oh, that's a bit, it, it, well, it has a power plug down here and it has a um, HDMI connector and it has two network ports. So that those two network ports is kind of important because that means that you can use it as a router really easily. Get your internet connection in, in one port and, and put it out on the other port. So I'm hoping that uh, ESXi will see everything on it and if so it would be an awesome little VMware server where I can put a virtual router on and everything will be in one box and um, yeah I would really like that so um, we're gonna try that today we might fail we might succeed but that's all part of the experience and um, I'm bringing you along so you can see my failures so you don't have to do that yourself if it doesn't work. If it works, well, you can you can copy that. As you can see, right now it has a server to oh, it has server 2022 installed on there. I uh, I did a good job on that, I guess. Uh, originally, the box comes with this USB key which sits inside and uh, their own operating NAS system which is called TOS and um, you, you have this in there and when you put in the drives it installs the, the operating system over onto the drive so you don't really need this anymore uh, except if you want to do it over again. So right now I have it out and the drives are installed with this TOS which is the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna, for the review video of this box I installed their system naturally and uh, now we're gonna delete it from the drives because if I boot this device it wants to boot on that system instead of the internal NVMe drives. There are actually two internal NVMe drives and we can see this in disk manager here. Let's see this. The screen is very small. Good thing the camera has a bit of zoom. <laughs> There's a whole lot of partitions here. So we have one of the NVMEs here, it's 250 gigabytes. And we have one of, and we have the other one there. And then we have the two hard drives down there. These two, there are four terabytes drives. So we're gonna, we're gonna clean those. We're not gonna use the disk manager, we're gonna use disk part. So it's a bit slow. part there and we got a list disk which tells us that we need to clean disk 2 and disk 3 so we're gonna do that we're gonna select select 2 uh, this two is now selected and then we're gonna clean that just gets rid of everything on the drive then we are gonna do the same thing with this tree uh, there. then when we go back to disk manager we have two clean drives so there is nothing on them awesome um when I hopefully get ESXi 6.7 installed, uh, we're gonna use those drives for something meaningful. So uh, getting server 2022 to work on here was actually not that easy. Uh, I had to fiddle around a long time with the network drivers. So uh, just happens to have two NVMe drives in here 
Uh, so we have server 2022 installed on the top one. So if possible, I'm gonna try and install it on the other one. Uh, well, ESX i 6.7 here. So I could kind of do kind of a multi boot if I needed to. Uh, at least until I know if this is gonna work for me. So yeah, let's try that. I'm gonna put this in. It's now in the back and it pops up here. So now we're gonna boot it and see if we can uh, boot from the USB pin. I must say it boots very quickly. So now it's off. So now we turn it on and it will show us the BIOS right away. Delete to get into the BIOS. Actually wants to boot from the USB key first. So that might actually be okay. Let's try that. Yes, yes. Oh, that was <laughs> that was easy. That worked right away. I didn't have to edit anything there. Oh, I'm in this. <laughs> I'm in the reflection. I didn't see that. And we can. Yeah. Oh, I hope this works. So far, so good. It sees the sees the CPU an M5105, two gigahertz, 3.8 gigabytes of RAM. That is on the low side. I definitely need some more RAM in this. Uh, some laptop DDR4 RAM would be nice. I, uh, I well, when I did the video, I thought, oh, we can we can do a nice little upgrade on this. And then it turned out that all the RAM that I had was DDR3 RAM, so didn't work out. No network. Oh, dang it. It does not see the network adapter. So I might be very limited in what I can do with this. Um, I, I really wanted ESXi 6.7 in here because it had more drivers than the newer versions, but it is a pretty new network card that is in here. It's, uh, I forget what it is, but... Yeah, I downloaded the newest uh, ESXi 7.03 or 7.0 U3. Let's see if that makes any difference. So now we are starting up um, 7.03-ish. I'm sure I'm gonna run into some other problems because yeah, 7, ESXi 7 is um, it's picky. Oh, who knows? We might get lucky. I'm in here. <laughs> okay. It's not complaining about anything yet. I'm sure it's just warming up to that. Oh, it does actually say 7.03 up there, so. I think it might have died. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought it might have died, but then it continued. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. No network adapters. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, this is not going great. Um, I found that it is possible to inject drivers into ESXi, but it's definitely not easy. So, as uh, ESXi is not really working for us, I have um, I have downloaded the latest Proxmox. So we might just have to uh, to go to Proxmox to uh, let's let's see if this works. Um, this is uh, Proxmox 7.2-1. Enter and reboot. Okay, that took a couple of tries to get the uh, the USB stick to work and that didn't work. So uh, I changed the USB stick 
to my Ventoy one, we could just uh, reboot the machine. We can do it all over again, now that I actually know that it's going to do it. So uh, Ventoy, there. Uh, we can go down and select the Proxmox image. I have an older one on there as well. So that actually works, so we can now try and install. And I downloaded the newest, so in hopes that it has the drivers that we're gonna need, but we don't know. It got an IP number, so that looks very promising. Uh, um, could you read this for me? I'll just agree and, and blame you. So we need to pick our hard drive. Oh, that's a dangerous one. Target hard drive. Okay, so it's it sees one, it sees two, it sees our two. So I guess the the first one up there is probably the one with our with my Windows installation with my server 2022. So I think if we pick the second one, that might be the one. Uh, it's very smart. It knows where I am. Yes, sure. Password. And we have a little bit of configuration to do here, but it seems that it has my network cards. Uh, I think it even has two. Yeah. So. Uh, that's cool. So let's pick number one there. Let's hope that's the right one. I'm gonna put in some numbers here and we'll see if that happens for us. Okay, I guess 15 is as good as any. So let's just continue. And... Almost there. Okay, so now I should be able to go and control it from the computer. Eh, oh, it needs to reboot. Okay. Oh. And we need to take the USB stick out. Oh, I'm too slow. <clears throat> so it's booting from the wrong NVMe drive. So. At least server 2022 is still on there, so we know that. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to go into the BIOS and change that, I think. So let's see if we can manage that. There, we're in BIOS and we should be able to go over to boot and set the boot order. So NVMe, let's see what options we have. Okay. So we can pick NVMe or NVMe. So maybe we are down here. Boot option one. Oh, it sees it. Okay, boot option one. Let's use Proxmox. Boot option two. Windows manager. Interesting. Okay. Quit without saving? No. So we need to go save. Exit there. And save changes and reset. Yep. Ah! That didn't work. Okay. I missed a little thing in here. Done. Here it says um, save and exit, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do that again. So primary prox marks. Next one, Windows. Okay, so now let's press F4 for save and exit. Save conviction and exit. Yes. So now we get this. Okay. I 
guess we are building Proxmox now. And I should be able to reach it on IP number. That and that and that. Awesome. Here we are at my computer. I was not able to reach it on, uh, on the web interface. Now I am. Um, it seems that the network port number one is the bottom one, <laughs> so I uh, I'm, I messed that one up. So uh, now I am able to get in here. Oh, uh, let's see if I can log in here. Nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, and we're in. Um, it, it comes up with this subscription thing. That's normal. And the rest looks good. Uh, I'm sure we don't have a whole lot of resources here because those four gigabyte of RAM is gonna be uh, will be something that we need to look into. So total and used. So we are already using about above one gigabyte of RAM, and we only have those four. So, but it does work. Okay, let's see. Login. Is that the username? There, can we boot this? Hmm. Ha! Hit something! I'm interested in uh, if it comes up with some kind of multi-boot or if it just starts Proxmox right away. I'm just curious. Yeah, it's very quick at coming with a splash screen here. Okay, <laughs> so it uh, starts Windows. Hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, it's not as such possible to make multi boot on it. Or, uh, I, don't know. I might have to uh, swap those two NVMe drives around to have it by standard uh, boot on Proxmox. But well, that's doable doesn't matter really. So that's where we're gonna end this video because I have myself a little tiny hypervisor. Well tiny and tiny. It, it's, it has a nice size especially now that it actually has two hard drive bays and two NVMe drives in there so I kind of have a little host here where I can have some virtual machines on. At present not a whole lot. Four gigabytes of memory is somewhat limiting but I do believe that this can take up to 32 gigabytes of memory. So yeah, 32 gigabytes of memory would be enough for a few systems. Not that they're gonna be running fast, but you can have a few system running this and that and that and this. And as long as you're not running them at the same time, it should be good. I have to wrap up this video because uh, the monitor is running out of power. It has been running on this tiny little power bank for quite a few hours because I've been uh, messing around with see if I could injecting drivers into ESXi and having trouble getting Proxmox to boot from the USB port and yeah, all sorts of things. So I think it has been running this money for, for uh, six hours something. So it has done a good job. So um, I have also been transferring some ISO files over to the box because I'm planning to take it somewhere and you're gonna have to wait a little bit to see that. Hopefully you're gonna, gonna see that. So uh, yeah, but other than that, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.